teacup writer here for a review on a Waterman Expert fountain pen in gloss black with a fine nib. Hope you enjoy. All right, so here is the Waterman Expert. Um, the pen originally just came in this box. Uh, I, right now I have some ink cartridges that live inside, but I'll take those out. So the pen was received in this presentation. Um, for being my first fountain pen, I instantly fell in love with, uh, with the brand of Waterman. I have had no trouble with this pen whatsoever. Very good pen. Um, and just the fact that, you know, it being a gift, I think there's something special about that. Someone, you know, giving you something obviously has a certain sentimental value. Uh, the pen itself, um, I believe you get a ink cartridge. I believe it's a blue ink cartridge. Um, so it's nice that when you buy a pen, you have, you could start writing immediately. You don't have to buy ink. I have uh opted to put other ink in here um a couple of the ones i've reviewed uh the only downside that i found to buying this pen was that it didn't come with a converter so like i said i, I do use other inks um, it does take standardized cartridges but uh the converter i had to purchase from i believe jet pens it was only like seven or eight bucks, not a big deal. But um, with this, it does allow you to fill um, from bottles, which is great. Uh, it tends to go really quickly. I think I can, I have to refill it about once a week. I don't know if that's just because it flows really good or if I write a lot, it could be either. Yeah, but anyways, the pen itself, uh, you can see it has gold, a gold clasp, pen clasp, and then gold trim. Um, it feels kind of like, a, I mean, it feels like plastic, could feel like a resin. I'm not sure what the material is. Uh, it does fit kind of smaller in your hand. I have bigger hands, so... For a pen this small, sometimes my arm does get a little strained. So if you have a bigger hand, um, maybe a different size pen, like an Opus 88 may be a better option. But other than that, I think it does the job nicely. Um, the nib itself, if you can see that, has a little Waterman logo. This is a fine nib. Yeah, fine nib. And... Um, is just amazing to write with. Haven't had any hard stops, um, and it doesn't bleed all over the page. I have a Twisby Go that just loves to bleed. Um, this one is quite nice. Um, as you saw me pull the cap off, it's not a twist, it is just a pull, so you just pull the cap off um, to refill it or to change your cartridge. It's just one simple uh, twist of the cap or twist of the back end off cartridge fits in there you can see there's ink right there probably because of um, I found that pens that don't screw off and just push in like that sometimes there's ink that gets caught inside um, the cap and I do have ink all over my hands which you know isn't necessarily the worst thing but can be troublesome um, sticking with the whole Waterman theme of today's video, I did get some cartridges. So right now I have uh, their Intense Black. Um, these run for, I think, 4 or $5 each on Amazon. They're, it's an 8-pack, and as you saw in the pen, they're pretty large. I think you could probably get quite a bit of writing out of these. Um, they do come in a smaller size, so if you do not want the large cartridges, you can get it in a smaller size. I also have some of their Serenity Blue. Same thing, large, comes in eight. I have tried that uh, blue. It's quite nice. 
but uh, one of the colors that I really do like is their Harmonious Green. Now this um, is not a cartridge, it is a bottle, so that is where the converter comes in handy. And I've already used this thing quite often. Um, really good color. Uh, it dries really quickly. All of these inks are just absolutely great. Um, when you're uh, writing, I'm left-handed, so I drag my palm across the the page with, and it's with other inks like, uh, for instance, uh, Fountain or Ferris Wheel Press. Sometimes uh, I can uh, drag along the page with some wet ink. This ink is not, I don't think, classified as fast drying, but it certainly acts that way. Um, but yeah, this is the pen, and I'm going to show you just a couple writing samples, see if I can dig up some of the blue, the green, and then show you some of the black. But yeah, let's take a look and see if we can uh, get that found. Just All right, so forgive me um, for just doing the demonstration with the black. I did find some writing samples. So these are, this is just, uh, I just write down words that I find interesting to use in writing. But you can see the, this is the green up top right here. So you can see that it's a very crisp, uh, fine nib. Uh, the green is, I would compare it to an emerald. It's a very dark green, which is very nice. And then um, just a little line right here is the blue uh, cartridge that I showed you. But other than that, uh, for a sample with the black ink, let's uh, see what we can do. And I'll just um, do one really quickly and then one really slowly. So, uh, so there it is. I didn't have any. Difficulty, um, no stops. Gosh, the sun is just so bright, so nice. Um, pretty good, some upside down writing. Looks good as well. Um, it did stop right here, uh, which you, you may expect from writing uh, the opposite way the nib was designed to be written from. Um, as far as the ink being wet, it is a little bit on the wet side when you clump it up, but when you're just going at a normal speed, I mean, I guess you could wait a second, but it, I don't find any problem in it and I am left-handed. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Again, this is the Waterman Expert in Black. I know that it comes in a couple different finishes, and this one um, right now on Amazon is probably their cheapest option. It's a great starter pen. I do recommend it for anyone who's looking to get interested. Um, I take it to me. I take it with me to work and use it at work. So, you know, it's. Black is a very, obviously, professional ink color, so I have no problem with it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this very quick video. If you have any questions or comments about the pen, do feel free to leave a, uh, a comment about, uh, about whatever you'd like in the bottom of the video. But if not, uh, I will see you next time. Thank you so much and have a great day.